I changed plans quite a lot and unexpectedly in 2021 and ended in a very different place to where I started knowing that when I don't get things immediately that doesn't mean that it's a dead end or it's a complete no like, I can't know the answers to this I just have to keep living my life I felt guilty when I was enjoying my free time or having hobbies when things don't feel right I need to listen to that Emma here welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well so for today's video I thought it'd be a really good chance to reflect on the year before it is January right now though I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded I'm hoping in January otherwise you're going to be like Emma why are you still thinking about 2021 in February or whatever but this is my what I learned in 2021 video so I did a poll over on my Instagram listing four different types of videos and whilst this video didn't win in the poll it definitely came a strong second so I guess you guys really want to know what I learned in 2021 and I feel like it was a lot it was an up and down year right like I mean COVID's still with us so that kind of complicated things I got a new job I lived in three different cities so I think I've learned quite a lot and become more of an adult maybe so I figured I'd share what I learned with you in 2021 in this video today so with that said let's get started so the first thing I learned is definitely patience now I'd like to think I always was quite a patient person but let me tell you 2021 definitely tested that and I had to learn that things and plans and life just changes all the time and you've just got to become flexible and adaptable and learn to roll with the punches and 2021 was definitely a year of that a lot for me I think there were always surprises when I look back on 2021 it shocks me to think I started in a different job I was living in Cambridge then I came back and lived at home for a bit because the pandemic got worse and I couldn't see friends so I was back in the north and then I got offered a new job and then I moved to a new job then I moved to London so it feels like I changed plans quite a lot and unexpectedly in 2021 and ended in a very different place to where I started and I guess what I learned really is that things don't always go to plan and that's okay I think when I was at Cambridge studying at university I was a bit of a perfectionist I like to plan everything you know dot my I's and cross my T's I've always been that person that needs everything planned and scheduled and I need to follow that plan and if I don't then it upsets me or it stresses me out and I think 2021 taught me that I can't micromanage everything as much as I want to and it's not always a good thing either but sorry I'm getting sidetracked my point is about patience so I feel like I've definitely learned to wait or stand still or pause in 2021 and it was very important I think to slow down like after the disappointment of not getting my graduation which I'm still waiting for the disappointment of not getting onto the grad schemes that I wanted to get onto the year before and then waiting and waiting and trying hard and then finally getting a job on a grad scheme that I really did want it was all the more worth it because I'd had that patience and because I'd waited and I think if anything it's not just the waiting but knowing that when I don't get things immediately that doesn't mean that it's a dead end or it's a complete no like I did end up getting to where I wanted to be in the end I've ended up in London I've ended up with a good job and I've made new friends and I'm at a point in my life where I feel really really happy with what I've achieved and I think if I'd just given up at that first hurdle and not had the patience to wait and go back and try again then I might not have ended up where I am. So just because it doesn't happen at once or immediately and when you want it to doesn't mean it won't happen. Sometimes it's just about being patient and adapting when things come up and maybe rerouting your life in some aspects and you might end up going down a completely different path or it might just be a little bit of a detour and you come back to where you wanted to be and you've just had to take a different way to get there. And that's kind of how I feel my 2021 went and that's okay. So my second point, definitely um leads on from this and i'd say i learned perseverance so definitely on the back of that sort of job thing i was really really upset when i didn't get onto the grad schemes i wanted i felt a bit lost and confused i didn't know what i wanted to do with my life i didn't know where i wanted to be where i wanted to live what industry i wanted to be in i was just so confused when i left university and i was in that job for a year which i really really loved the job before the one i'm in now but it didn't feel like it's where I wanted to be forever and that's fine like I'm young and it's okay to not know where you want to be but I think 
by persevering and not just saying right well that didn't work out I'm not going to try again I kept applying I kept pushing myself I kept trying to better myself learn skills from the current job I was in so not just looking ahead to how do I get out of this and move on but what can I gain from this present experience now that will then put me in good stead going forward so don't overlook the opportunities that you have right now in the moment even if they're not the opportunities you thought you might have or wanted to have like persevere with what's there and make do with what you have because it might end up being what you want and you just didn't realize it or it might give you something like a new skill or a new perspective on life that you wouldn't have otherwise had and then you can persevere and go forward with that and I think that's what I learned in 2021. So the third thing I learned in 2021, you're going to start seeing a theme here, everything definitely links to one another but the third thing I learned was uncertainty and how to sit with my uncertainty or sit in my uncertainty and I think that is something that's always stressed me out. My professors, my family, my friends have always said to me, you really struggle with dealing with uncertainty. Like when I was doing my A-levels and waiting to find out if I got into Cambridge or even when I got my offer and was waiting to go to Cambridge, I really freaked myself out because I just didn't know what to expect and I thought, what if I hate it? What if I love it? What if it isn't what I expected it to be? And what if I don't make friends? Or what if I don't love the city? Or what if I struggle? And it's always asking what if and just not having those answers and I really, really struggled with that uncertainty in the past. But if 2021 taught me anything, it's that you just need to live with uncertainty and it was definitely a big year of uncertainty and unknowns for me. And I had to learn strategies to deal with that and Sometimes it does just take sitting down, thinking, writing things down in a journal, speaking with friends and family and trying to work out what about the uncertainty is bothering me. Um, is it just that I don't know the answer or that I do know the answer and the answer is worrying me or is it again to do with that sort of control perfectionist thing where I like to be able to see what's coming and and learning how to adapt and how to deal with that I think was really really important for me. and. I think in 2021 I learned to just say that might be an uncertain for me but here are my best case scenarios, here are my worst case scenarios, do I think I could deal with those? Yes I could, here's how I would deal with them and sometimes it just takes mapping out all of the different possible scenarios or answers to those uncertain questions to make me realise that actually if any of those things would happen, yeah worst case scenario wouldn't be ideal but I would know how to deal with it and how to respond. So sometimes that's how I dealt with my uncertainty. Other times I did just learn to be like, you know, I don't know, this pandemic is here for who knows how long. Will I ever graduate? I don't know. Will I enjoy my new job? I don't know. And just coming to terms with that and I think just reiterating it again and again of, I can't know the answers to this, I just have to keep living my life. And that is something I learned to do last year. I think the other way of looking at uncertainty is that it's not always a bad thing. Like, I think spontaneity was something that came out of 2021 for me. I did just talk about that in my last point, but the spontaneity of uncertainty as well. It can be a really, really positive thing, like learning to change, fail, succeed, thrive, change again. Like, that is exciting in itself, just not knowing what is around the corner and Sometimes it's not something you expect, but sometimes it's better. Like, I didn't think I would enjoy London at all, for example. I thought I'd hate the city, it'd be too busy and loud and crowded and scary for me. And I got there and I loved living in London. So just embracing that uncertainty sometimes and being unafraid to challenge your preconceived expectations as well is definitely a positive that came out of 2021 for me. The fourth thing that 2021 taught me is relaxation. Now you might be like, what on earth do you mean by that? But I mean the idea of slowing down. I know that sounds contrary to what I've been showing you in my vlogs where I run around London and I'm busy all the time. But there was that point at the start and in the middle of 2021 where we were locked down and I was back home and I felt stagnant and I didn't know what I was doing with my career, I didn't know when I'd be moving out, I didn't know what was happening in my life and I think just slowing down gave me a really good time and chance to sit and think, what do I want out of my life? What do I love about my current job? What do I not love about my current job? Can that shape where I want to go next? And where could I see myself living? Well, I haven't tried this place out yet and I know that I might not like it, but I haven't tried it so I can't rule it out until I have. So it really gave me the time to really think about those big, scary questions that I guess I'd been putting off when I was at university. And it helped me to pinpoint exactly 
where I wanted to go. Now I didn't have a set plan or a set route but it did give me the chance to think about it at least. On the flip side of that, slowing down isn't about taking the time to think about how I'm going to start moving again. Sometimes it is just about standing still as well and that's something I've always really struggled with when I was doing my A-levels at school, when I was at university. I always felt like I had to be going 100 miles an hour and I felt guilty when I was being unproductive or when I wasn't doing anything. I felt guilty when I was enjoying my free time or having hobbies. I always felt like when I was at Cambridge I might go out for dinner with my friends but I'd always be rushing back because there was always another book to read or an article to have a look at or an essay to write or a seminar to watch or something. I feel like I always felt like I had to be switched on and doing something and slowing down made me realise that sometimes doing nothing is just as productive because it's giving me that chance to pause, re-energise and then I can come back to the productive things with more energy and enthusiasm to do them well as well not just keep keeping going but at a very low standard sometimes you do just need to stop slow down give yourself time to relax and pause and then you can go back better than you were before and that's something 2021 20, taught me and because I've slowed down it meant I could invest more time in me as a person I was reading more I was going out on walks more I started my YouTube channel in 2021 so I found a new hobby as well all because of slowing down which I mean that's that's such a great thing to come out of 2021 now that I think about it I, I literally started this channel and that's given me a new confidence a new hobby just improved me as a person I'd say and the fifth and final thing that I learned in 2021 because I do want to keep this video short and sweet and that is honesty not that I was a dishonest person before 2021 but I mean that I've learned to be honest with myself and how I feel and I feel like this is something that maybe I kind of ignored before 2021. I think when I was at Cambridge I had this mindset of maybe toxic positivity of I don't know when things were going wrong just being like it's fine it's fine keep going like just throw yourself into work like forget about the stress just keep working to mask the stress instead of just addressing it head on and I feel like now I'm very sure with myself that when things don't feel right I need to listen to that like if I've had a really stressful day at work, why have I had a stressful day at work? Don't just sit around and mope about it, like actually confront it or don't just bury it and move on and think, oh, well, tomorrow's a new day. And I think that's led to more productive conversations where I can go to my manager and say, this really bothered me at work yesterday, can we talk about it? And then we can think of a solution going forwards. But I think in the same breath, honesty is also allowing myself to sit in those feelings again, kind of like sitting in, in uncertainty or standing still where I am allowed to, you know, grieve things that haven't happened that should have happened or be sad about the way my university has ended or be sad about the way things have gone if they haven't gone to plan. But then after I've allowed myself to feel that, then moving on and working out a solution. But there's no point in jumping to the solution first because then you kind of haven't been honest with yourself and confronted those feelings in the first place. And then they'll just come back up again later on. I find it a lot easier to let myself feel first and then think afterwards and be more rational afterwards. Obviously, that's not to say that you should like spiral and enable these negative thoughts or I don't know self-pity or wallowing or allowing that misery to go on and on and on just that if you don't allow yourself to feel that now then it will come up later again and it'll be harder to find a solution then when it's still playing on your mind even further after the things have happened if you get what I mean and I think you'll find that when you do share things you realize you're not alone like I've definitely been honest with myself this year where if I've found COVID really, really difficult and I've been upset about it, instead of just panicking on my own, sharing that with people because it's really reassuring when other people say, no, it's completely reasonable to be worried about things like that. I'm worried about it too. Or if I'm like, you know what, I'm really sad and missing home. I feel out of sorts here. This place doesn't feel comfortable and familiar. And then listening to my housemates who have also said, you know, what, I'm really missing home as well. And then you can sort of bond over that as well and it leads to more positive experiences of you've got it off your chest, you've become closer to somebody else because you've shared an emotion and I just think it's good all around to share how you're feeling and speak up more. So those are the five things that I learned in 2021. I'm sure I learned a lot more than that in 2021 but I did want to keep it short and succinct and focus on the five most important things that I think I learned in 2021. Um, let me know what you learned in 2021. Did you learn any of the same life lessons or feelings or goals or 
experiences that I have. Let me know in the comments below or if you found that you learned something else, share that too. I'm, I'm happy to hear about everybody else's experiences and here's to a bright and exciting 2022, I guess. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.